Good evening. The city of Albuquerque is investing more than a million dollars to boost the city's tourism efforts. But the gateway into some of the most popular downtown tourist spots has become an eyesore. That's right. Business owners want to know what the city is going to do about it. News 13's Francesca Washington is live near the I-40 and Rio Grande exit with details. Francesca? Most businesses around here depend on that revenue from tourism, but they worry the look of this area will deter potential visitors. Denise Dubay has worked in Old Town for nearly 20 years. This is our pride and joy. And she says the trash in the area, specifically the I-40 and Rio Grande interchange, has started to pile up. It's probably the worst it's ever been. She says many Old Town businesses and restaurants are still recovering from the pandemic and depend on tourism revenue. Last month, Mayor Keller announced the city would be putting one and a half million dollars towards tourism marketing and advertising to help put Albuquerque on the map as a vacation destination. But Dubé worries all the trash might deter potential visitors. They don't clean up the trash, and it is the main entrance for all tourism coming into Old Town, the biopark, the zoo, uh, hotels. Um, so it gives the very first impression of an untidy and unkept city. On the other side of the interstate, Range Cafe manager Brandon Basis says he's frustrated not only with the trash, but the growing homeless camp near the restaurant. We're still pretty busy, thankfully, but and we still get people that pass through all the time and they don't mention it. But I, I, as soon as you pull in this parking lot, I mean, you can see it when you get out of your car. So I, absolutely, I agree that it probably deters the average person from stopping in. And they want to see more done to bring the area up to its full potential. This is the historical district, and it's, it's very important that we're able to showcase how great our, our community and our city is. And, and I don't think that's being portrayed very well over here. The city has an ongoing agreement with the New Mexico Department of Transportation to clean up the area. The DOT tells me they have crews that come out and clean every three months. Back to you. All right, Francesca, thank you. The city tells us they clean that area weekly. Since the start of the year, the city has received more than 100 calls to 311 about litter in that area.